Do we know who has the clearest resin? Do we know who has the clearest resin on the market today? Hey guys, welcome back. The scientist Matt here. I'm gonna take 13 companies of deep casting resin and we're gonna find out who has the clearest. That's right, the clearest. Not only that, we're gonna find out who has the hardest after their cure time. We're also gonna do another test where we see how well they hold up in UV exposure. I reached out to every epoxy company on the market. 13 of these companies have been generous enough to donate at least three gallons of resin for this specific test. So how are we gonna test this, you ask? Let me show you. I've got three different molds, four sections on each mold. Exotherm Designs, they were very generous enough to donate all three of these molds. We're going to pour a two inch thick casting with each resin. We're gonna do the same mixing style. We're gonna do the same pouring method. In order for this to be a success, I had to come up with a few ways to make sure that everything is uniform and the same. After each epoxy company's resin is poured into the molds, I have another test for you. Beer casting craze, right? The beers, the liquor bottles, with the leftover resin that's already mixed with each company, I'm going to then degas it and we're gonna do some beer castings. All the same height, I've made identical molds. Hopefully that will give us a really good comparison at the end to see the castings of the resin not degassed and then their same resin degassed into a beer casting. Every one of these companies claim that they have the clearest resin, but today we're gonna actually find out. Let me know down below who you think is gonna have the clearest resin. I have a feeling I might be surprised. Let me know what you think. So how about we get started? Who's got the clearest resin? Who's got it? I don't know. I haven't used them all yet, so let's go find out. Starting in alphabetical order, we've got Lumilite, Chemtech, Ecopoxy, Incredible Solutions, Moss Epoxy, River with a Y, River Table Epoxy, Cimarron, Super Clear 2.0, Total Boat, Ultra Clear, and Wise Bond. These 12 are for the big test. For the second half, we have Entropy. For the current temp, 59 degrees, 43% humidity. It will get a little bit colder tonight, which is what I wanted, just because we're gonna have a lot of different resins in here. It will take longer for all of them to cure, but that's okay. We can wait. We wanna make sure that we don't get any overheating. These guys here is a lot of volume. I've done quite a few of them, and it's important to keep them really cool for the first 24 to 48 hours. Okay, so right now, the molds are reading 60 degrees on the surface. Put some fill lines, measured each one exactly to the bottom of that Tyvek tape is two inches on every single one. Got the degassing chamber ready to go. I've been reading over all of the tech sheets for all of the companies. It's really not that great to leave all of these in the mixing bucket for a long period of time. Since I'm doing 13 of them, what I'm going to do is start with the first one, which is gonna be a Lumilite. I'm gonna mix it. We're gonna pour it into the big mold and we're gonna go over and degas it and then pour it into the uh, beer mold. We're gonna do each one like that in sequence. You're gonna see the whole process unfold one by one. Let's get after it. All right, so we've got a Lumilite up first. Every single time that I switch to a new epoxy, I'm changing gloves, changing out the mixing paddle, banging sure everything's clean as possible to ensure we don't mix anything up. Let's get it. Two thirds update guys. All right, so we've got eight of them done 
And as you can see, we've got some difference in uh, color and some have some bubbles, some don't. Made sure to mix each one to their spec. We're about six hours in so far. There's the aftermath. Well guys, that concludes the first round of this testing process. It's been about 12 hours straight. I think it's five or six in the morning. We got all the castings done, all of the molds poured. Dropped to 56 degrees, 56. It was 59, so it's reduced a little bit. I'm gonna flip this around and we're gonna look at the temperature of the gun and see how they're doing. This is one we did first at 66 degrees. It goes down from there. Going fine. Super clear. Wise Bond 58. This gives you like a, an, at a glance. But as far as clarity goes, as of right now, I mean, I think Wise Bond is doing pretty well here. Almost looks like just water in there. Good morning. It is 9 a.m., so three hours later. I wanted to give you an update. So Lumalite is about 12 hours in. We're at 68. Tech, 66 for Ecopoxy, 64 for Incredible Solutions. Cimarron, 63, 64, 65, 61 for River. Moss, 61, Super Clear, 65, 97, 65 for Ultra Clear. And then Wise Bond is at 63. Over here, the Entropy Resins. Seems like it's doing okay. Okay, 60, 59 for Wise Bond. I think these are all gonna be pretty close. Why don't you let me know below and tell me what you think so far. Okay, so I had to get a fan. You can see it's really starting to kick. It was at 179 a second ago. Just wanted to help stop some of the heat just in case it started transferring. It is about 11 o'clock. Let's check this uh, temperature a few minutes ago and it was at 179. Now we're hovering 159, so it's getting better. But I think we're over the curve and it's coming down. It's pretty hard. These two, ultra clear and super clear, are still doing good. They're hovering around 68, 70 degrees. So this week's video sponsor, big thanks to Concept 13. If you guys haven't heard of them before, they sell a wide array of products, finishes, wood. They sell C-channel for keeping your tables flat. They also sell hardware like Rampatech, threaded inserts. So I've been a big fan of Concept 13 for a long time and I've also been a customer of theirs for a long time. So I'm super happy that they wanted to be uh, a sponsor for this video. They're amazing to deal with. He'll give you a great experience which is what I'm all about. So head over to them. You can use Matt10 for 10% off anything that he sells. So go check them out. Thanks.
Here we are, two weeks later. I'm out of my uh, scientist suit. It's time to get down to business. I'm gonna flip this camera around and show you where we're at with all of them. They uh, are all cured. They're ready to be demolded and we can actually start testing the clarity, which is uh, pretty much what you're here for anyways. So a little update on Total Boat. Uh, that next morning, as I showed you before, got a little warm, a little quick. So I reached out to them and we kind of went over all of the specs and tech sheet with the Total Boat. I must have missed it when I read it, but that specific product is not meant for a two inch thick pour. It's ideal pour depth is only three quarters to one inch. After talking with them, we've decided together that I'm gonna try and push the limits of this thick set because I had already poured it at two inches. So I threw a fan on it. Uh, tried to make sure there was good airflow. It was really cool in here. One of the main reasons they allowed me to do it is because they are already in development for a new product that's capable of doing a two inch thick pour. But the cool thing is they are sending me some more thick set. That way I can do a three quarter inch pour with it in these same molds. But I'll still show you how this one turned out. That way you get an idea of what will happen if you pour this product at two inches. About two weeks into this process, I gave it an extra week just to be safe because it was uh, a little cool. It's been hovering around the same temperature, high 50s, low 60s, and all of them are good to go. Okay, they are demolded. This is really interesting. So we're gonna check clarity a couple of different ways, but I just wanted to give you kind of a peek how they look so far. Definitely some color variants, side profiles too. Some actually kind of mimic the glass. Sometimes on glass, the edge profile isn't perfectly clear. After the demolding process, I noticed the bottoms had kind of a haziness to them. So I really wanted to level the playing field for all of these. So I took my one and two step polishing process and did it to every single one, top and bottom. I'll put a link down below. And if you guys have any interest in getting epoxy to a glass like finish, I created the video a couple months ago that takes it from low grit to high grit and really showcases how to do the process properly, all the compounds, all the supplies that you'll need to get epoxy to a glass like finish. For this part of the clarity test, I wanted to showcase some controlled environment shots. You'll see one at a glance and then an up-close macro shot of both the beer casting and the bigger casting. And then I also wanted to showcase something with natural light. I would venture to say almost every single beer casting is bubble free. So it really gives you perspective with using the degassing chamber. It's definitely worth the investment in my opinion. If you're doing any sort of epoxy work, you can clearly see the differences in all of these. So at a glance, you're gonna see three pictures and then I'll move to showcasing the bigger pours and then followed with the beer casting. After you've evaluated all of these, I'd really like your input now that we've gone through this whole process together. So take a seat, enjoy this part of the process. After you're finished watching this clarity test, I'm gonna follow up with the shore de-hardness test. So make sure to stick around.
For the hardness test, I took a five point average, all four corners and then in the middle. You'll see at the very end, I compiled some data. I'll list shorty hardness from highest to lowest. And you'll also see price per liter for each company from highest to lowest. Make sure to pause that slide so you can really look at the details and see which company is the most expensive per liter and then which one has the hardest epoxy. Thank you so much for watching this video. I learned a ton of information over the past five to six weeks doing this project. One of the first disclosures that I would like to talk about is I am not sponsored by any of these companies. I wanted to make sure that anyone watching this video understood that and knew that I was going into this completely unbiased. The second thing I'd like to talk about is all of the formulas for these companies can change tomorrow in a week in a year and it could not be the same. I think that we have found that there are some resins that stay clearer, that dissipate bubbles more, some are harder. That's why it was really important to me not to just do a clarity test. What I think was one of the most important parts of the test was the UV exposure. A lot of these clear resins that are in homes and by windows or even art pieces and are exposed to UV elements through direct sunlight or indirect sunlight, it's really hard to know which company or which resin is going to stay clear longer. In Full disclosure, all of these resins will probably yellow over time. Whether it be a month or a year or two years, it's kind of inevitable, right? We have five really good contenders for being the clears. But there are two, maybe three, that kind of have the edge, right? I feel that Wise Bond and Super Clear 2.0 are the two top clears out of all of them. Side profile is very clear. The front profiles are very clear. Both have micro bubbles, but that could have been taken care of with a degassing chamber. If you look at their beer castings, they're almost perfect, both of them. I would say it's really hard to tell the difference between both of them from the front view, but from the side view, I feel that Wise Bond is just maybe one or 2% lighter in shade and appears a little bit clear, but I wanted to take it a little step further. So I'm gonna flatten them, I'm gonna sand them, and I'm gonna polish them. And we're gonna see which one actually the clearest, but you're gonna be the judge.
Well, that's it. We're done, but I'm gonna need your help. There's no way that I'm gonna be able to choose which one of these is the actual winner. So I'm gonna leave it up to you guys. Drop a comment below. Let me know what you think after seeing all of the process and these final three, Super Clear 2.0, Wise Bond, and Incredible Solutions. I love your feedback and uh, excited to see what you guys choose. Until next time, get out there and build something.